Hi, so in today's video we are going to talk about equal sets and equivalent sets. So you might be thinking both the terms actually sound very similar but there is a very slight difference between these two sets. First let's talk about equal sets. So two sets are said to be equal sets if their cardinal number is same and the elements of both the sets should also be same. Then only you can call two sets as equal sets or identical sets, right? So suppose if I have a set A which has an element x where this x belongs to the set of natural numbers and this x is less than 4, right? And then I have a set B which is a set with three elements, the elements are 1, 2 and 3, right? Set A I have defined using the rule method and set B I have tabulated or written down all the elements. What will be the cardinal number of B? Cardinal number of set B will be equal to 3, right? And if I write down all the elements of set A, what will they be? Set A is a set of natural numbers less than 4. So set of natural numbers start from 1, right? Then we have 2, then we have 3, then we have 4, then we have 5. But here the condition says it is actually the set of natural numbers less than 4. So all these elements which are equal to or greater than 4 will not belong to this set because that actually don't fall in the definition of this set, right? So these will be the elements of set A. And what will be the cardinal number of set A? Cardinal number of set A will also be 3. Now if I write down all the elements of set A, they are also 1, 2 and 3. And the cardinal number of set A is also 3. It has 3 elements. So since both the sets have same elements and they have same cardinal number, then these two sets set A and set B will be called equal sets or identical sets. Yes, so if both the sets have same number of elements and all their elements are also same, then those two sets are called identical sets. Let's take one more example. If I talk about set A which has an element x where this x is an even number and this x is less than or equal to 10, right? And let me define a set B which has an element x where this x is equal to 2 times n where this n belongs to the set of natural numbers and this n is less than or equal to 5. These are the two sets. Their definitions are very different. Let me try to list all the elements of set A. Set A has all the even numbers less than 10. So what is the first even number? First even number is 2. Then we have 4, then 6, then 8, then 10, and then we have 12. 12 will not belong here because we are talking about all the even numbers less than or equal to 10. So all these will be the elements of set A and what will be the cardinal number of A? Cardinal number of A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It has 5 elements so cardinal number of A will be 5 and now let's try to list all the elements of set B. So set B is what? Set B has an element x where this x is 2 times n and n belongs to the set of natural numbers, right? and n is less than or equal to 5. So the set of natural numbers is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on, right? And what is x? It is 2 times n. So if I take 1, the first element of b will be 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. Then the second element will get by multiplying 2 by 2, so 2 to the 4. And third element will be 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6. Fourth element will be 4 multiplied by 2, that is 8. And fifth element will be 5 multiplied by 2, that is 10. And 6 will not consider because the condition over here is n should be less than or equal to 5. So these will be the elements of set B. And what is the cardinal number of B? The cardinal number of B is n of b that is 5 it also has 5 elements right and if we compare 
A has a 2, B has a 2, then they have 4, then they have 6, then they have 8 and they have 10, right? So their cardinal number is same, all their elements are also same. So set A will be called identical set of B or set A and B will be called equal sets or identical sets. And now let's talk about the equivalent sets. So as you can see, I have already noted down in yellow the conditions for two sets to be equivalent sets. Two sets are called equivalent sets if their cardinal number is same. So two sets to be equivalent sets, their cardinal number should be same, right? There is no restrictions on the elements of two sets. So suppose if I have a set A, which has elements like, let's take the easy one, 1, 2 and 3. Then I have a set B whose elements are colors like red, blue and green. The cardinal number of A is 3 and the cardinal number of B is also 3. Both of them have 3 elements each, right? Then these two sets will be called equivalent sets because corresponding to 1, if you take the first element of set A, there is color red in set B. If I take the second element of set A, then there is one more color, which is blue there in the set B. And um, for the third element of set A, we have green color in the set B. That means for every element of set A, we have one corresponding element in set B. And that condition is taken care by their cardinal number. If we have two sets and their cardinal number is same, then those two sets will be called equivalent sets. Suppose if I have a set A, set A has x where x is equal to 2 times n, where this n belongs to the set of natural numbers and n is less than or equal to 4. What all will be the elements of A? The elements of A will be 2, 4, 6 and 8, right? 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6, 2 fours are 8, right? And the cardinal number of A will be 4, right? And now let's take one more set B. Set B is a set of elements X where this X is equal to 5 times n where this n belongs to the set of natural numbers and small n is less than or equal to 4. Right? Then what will be all the elements of set B? The elements of set B will be 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15 and 5 4s are 20. Right? n has to be less than or equal to 4 so it will also have only 4 elements and the cardinal number of B will be 4, right? So from here, if we see, both the sets have same cardinal number, right? And for every element of set A, there is a corresponding distinct element in set B, right? For this 2, we have 5. For this 4, we have 10. For this 6, we have 15. And for this 8, we have 20. So these two sets, A and B, will be called equivalent sets and how do we represent it? We represent it by two-sided arrow like this and this is called A is equivalent to B or you can say B is equivalent to A, right? And now you understand what are equal sets and what are equivalent sets, right? And after this we will be learning about Venn diagrams because they are very useful in representing a set in pictorial format, right? So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.